Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to change your splash screen within RetroPie. It's very easy to do. We can use a static image or a video. Right here I just have my desktop background. It's a 1080 JPEG that I created in Photoshop. There are tons of free software applications that you can use to create your own artwork, like GIMP, even the built-in paint on Windows. Or we can head over to the RetroPie forum, and these guys have some amazing stuff. We got some videos here, and I see him a lot. I'm not exactly sure how he pronounces this. I'm going to call him Rookervik. He has a ton of great stuff. Just scroll on down. I mean, there are a lot of splash screens and a lot of video splash screens. So what I did was I downloaded this. This is RetroPie Video Splash Screen Sonic 2 by Rooker Vic. Like I said, you'll see him a lot through here. He does an amazing job. I just downloaded that one. And I also have my desktop background. I'm going to connect to my Raspberry Pi over network. It's on and connected to the same network as this PC. I'm going to open up a file explorer, go to the quick access bar, backslash, backslash, all capital, RetroPie, press enter. From here, you'll see four folders, BIOS, configs, ROMs, and wouldn't you know, splash screens also. Open it up. There's a readme text file. Place your own splash screens in here. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to take both of these. I'm just going to transfer them over to my Raspberry Pi's SD card. So now I have that Sonic 2 intro made by Rooker Vic, and I have my desktop background right here. We're going to be moving to the Raspberry Pi now, and I'll show you how to enable the splash screen. So I'm back at the Pi. We've transferred my desktop background, the ETA Prime background, and Rooker Vic's Sonic 2 MP4 video intro. We'll go to RetroPie, enter this menu, scroll down to Splash Screens. Choose Splash Screen, the very first option. RetroPie Splash Screens, Own Extra Splash Screens, and this is what we're going to go to. So from here, we have my ETA Prime desktop and the Sonic 2 intro. I'll go with the Sonic 2 intro from Rooker Vic. Yes. We'll go cancel. And from here, if you want to see that splash screen, you'll need to restart the system. Go down to quit. Restart system. Yes. So here it is. And there you have it. I'm just gonna switch to my ETA Prime splash screen really quick. Retro Pie, splash screens, choose splash screen, own extra, and I'll choose ETA Prime desktop done. Cancel, start, quit, restart system. Yes. And there we have it. My desktop background as a RetroPie splash screen. Now some of these video intros or video splash screens are a bit drawn out, but that guy Rookervic that I got the Sonic 2 from makes some really good ones and they're about the perfect length for your boot up process. If you were to just to restart Emulation Station, you will not see the splash screen. So every cold boot or system restart, you will see your new splash screen. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'll leave a link down below to the RetroPie forum page where you can download tons of great splash screens. Go ahead and sign up for the forum. And if you do download one of the artist's splash screens, do not forget to thank them because they put a lot of time into this and they do a really great job. Like always, thanks for watching.